Good morning, everyone, and welcome to your Friday live session. It's lovely to have you here today. If you're in the UK, I know you've been probably finding this week quite a tough one because it's been incredibly hot here. Um, I've been teaching temperatures of about 32 degrees. So yeah, it's been hot for me too. So I thought today we will do a really nice stretch and release session. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to say hello to you all, send you a big kiss and just say, let's get started. And I will come back to the chat afterwards. All right. So here we go. As you can see, I've got my lightest colored, lightest, thinnest pants on today because it's so, so hot. All right. So we're going to start down on the floor. And what I want to tell you just before you begin is with today is I want you to think about today and really trying to tune into how your body feels. So I'll obviously demonstrate the movements and the stretches for you, but I want you to kind of really think about how it feels in your body, whether it feels okay, whether it feels a little bit much, and try and kind of guide yourself into the place where the stretch feels nice but not painful. That's where we want to be. We want to be hanging around in that area where you think, oh yeah, this feels really good. All right. And I'll try and give you some tips and things along the way as we need. So here we go. So we're going to start with the bottom of our feet together. Now, if there's anyone watching and this already is just too much for you, you can put a couple of cushions underneath your bottom, as many as you want, all right? So if you want to do that, go grab a couple of cushions. We're just going to have the bottom of the feet together. We're going to put our hands on our ankles. And we're just going to start by taking a breath in, breathing out and just gently drawing the tummy muscles in. So this is just to kind of remind us of our Pilates principles, working the core. So you're going to inhale. Exhale, pulling the belly button in. And one more deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Now, as you inhale, I want you to think of lifting the chin, uh, the chest, sorry, up. So we're pressing our chest forward, inhaling, lifting the eye line towards the sky. Exhaling, we're going to draw the tummy muscles in, rounding that lower back. All the while, we're keeping hold of the ankles. So inhale, push down into those ankles, open through the chest. Think of the collarbones opening. Exhale. Coming back. Inhale, lifting up. Nice stretch, draw the shoulders back. Exhale. To round, two more, inhale, lifting up. So we're drawing our shoulders back and towards each other. Exhale, scooping in, rounding that lower back. And last one, inhale. And exhale. Good. Now bring yourself back up into a seated neutral position. And I also want you to wiggle your bottom forward now until you start to feel the stretch in the inner thighs, okay? So wherever that is, that's where you're gonna to go to. We're gonna think of pressing our elbows out onto our thighs here, and you're gonna take a breath in, and as you breathe out, you're just gonna lean forward, applying a little bit of pressure to those knees. So you're feeling the stretch, you'll feel it in the inner thighs, you might feel it in the back of the pelvis, that's where I tend to feel it. And then you're going to come up, take a breath in, breathing out, pressing down, inhale, coming up, and exhale, pressing down. Well done. All right, so we're going to take our right leg up like this, left leg coming underneath. All right, so you can do what feels right. So you can either have the foot here. If you've got the flexibility, you can bring this leg a little closer. You can take this foot over the top. And then this 
sit bone, we want that down on the floor, okay? So you might find this is already a good enough stretch for you. If you wanna go further into the stretch, you're gonna bring this arm around like so. Okay, so that's left arm, other arm behind you. Now I want you to think of lifting up through the spine and then you're just gonna turn the head, the chest, the rib cage, and looking behind you. And just take some deep breaths here. So the whole idea of today is just to slow things down and just find the stretch where you need it. Stretching is very healing for the body, so that's what we're doing. And one more deep breath in. And exhale. Good, gently come around and let's unravel and go the other way, okay? So finding the position that works for you, making sure that you've got both sit bones down on the floor. Let's take that arm around. Let's take the other hand behind. Now lift up first. So think of going upwards and then you're going to turn to look behind you. You're going to turn those ribs. That's it. And just find that stretch in your body. You can even pull that knee a little closer to the chest if you want to increase it. Well done. And coming back. All right, so from here, let us come and lie down. Okay, we're going to do the standing stretches uh, in the second part of the class. We're going to start with all the work on the floor. So we're lying down. We're finding that neutral position. So think of lengthening through your hip flexors here. So we don't want to be tipping back. All right, and then we're going to go into our pelvic curl because it's a lovely way to stretch the front of the body. So you're going to take a breath in, breathing out. Let's tilt the pelvis, press down into the feet. That's going to activate the glutes. So we're going to lift up and pushing up through your hips, but at the same time, keeping your ribs down. So you're trying to find the stretch all across the front of the thighs there. Then take a breath in. Breathing out, just relax through the chest and coming down. This actually is a stretch as well. I always think it's a great way to stretch out your spine. So taking a breath in, breathing out, tilting the pelvis, press into the feet, peeling up, pushing up through the legs, keeping the ribs down. Inhale there and exhale to come back down and try and stay at this pace. I know it's difficult for some people to go slowly, but this is what we want today. So we're tilting, pressing into the feet, lifting all the way up, hold it at the top, take a breath in, breathing out as you come back down. And one more deep breath in. Breathing out to tilt and roll that spine all the way up. Inhale to hold and exhale as you come back down. I want you to bring your right knee all the way into your chest. So holding underneath the front of the knee here, send that left leg away. Okay, we're gonna take a breath in. And as you breathe out, you're gonna pull the knee closer to your chest. Inhale, a little release of the pressure. Exhale to draw it back in. And inhale, a little release. Exhale, drawing it in. And you're just gonna hold it there for three, two, one, and then we're going to extend the leg up to the ceiling, placing the hands behind the thigh. Okay, now I want you to try and get your spine into that neutral position so we're not sinking the back onto the floor. We're pressing the pelvis away, and that's going to give you more stretch. Okay, so you're holding the back of the leg, and then we're going to lower the leg down, extend it from the knee. We're going to flex the foot 
and point the toes. So we're going to lower, lift, flex, and point. So active stretching, lower, lift, flex, and point. Lower, lift, flex, and point. Lower, lift, flex, and point. One more, lower, lift, flex and point. Now looking at your foot, I want you to turn the foot inwards so you can feel the stretch on the outside of the ankle. And then I want you to very gently take that leg across the body. We're trying to find the stretch down the side of the leg there. Holding that position, just breathing into it. So just breathe however you need to. We just don't want you holding your breath today. Well done. Let's bring that leg back to the center. Let's straighten that foot up and let's circle the ankle out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now from here, we're going to turn the leg out. You're going to bring the leg towards you. So walking your hands up towards your calf, you may even get to the ankle, depending on your flexibility. Okay, now holding on with that right hand, you're going to take your left hand out to the side. And then you're going to take your right leg out to the side. And you want to think of the toes going towards the wall behind your head. So you're finding that stretch in the inner thigh there. Holding it there. Well done. Bring that leg back and let's take it down. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to pull the knee into the chest. Inhale, little release. Exhale to pull in. Inhale, little release. Exhale to pull in. And inhale, little release. And exhale, drawing in. And we're going to hold it here for three, two, one. And then we're going to extend the leg up to the ceiling. Take the hands behind the thigh. Let's correct that pelvis so it's not tipping back. Okay, and then from there, we're going to lower the foot, lift, flex, and point. Lower, lift, flex, and point. Lower, lift, flex, and point. Lower, lift, flex, and point. Last one, lower, lift, flex, and point. Let's circle the foot out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now turn that foot inwards and let's gently take that leg across the body, finding the stretch in the outside of the thigh, outside of the hip. Holding it here. Good, you're gonna straighten the foot up. Bring the leg back to the center. Let's turn that leg out in the hip. Walk your hands up so you're drawing that leg towards you. to wherever you can reach. Take your right arm out to the side, left leg in the opposite direction. Think of the toes heading to the wall behind you. Well done. Bring that leg back in and take it down onto the floor. Now from here, I want you to bend your right leg. Okay, and bring the foot quite close. Can you see it's sort of just above my knee? You're going to put your left hand over that knee, right arm out to the side. And now you're going to rotate the lower half of the body, finding that stretch. 
you can turn your head to the right as well. And then you're just pressing down on that knee, finding the stretch all through here, through the back of the body. And if you want, you can take a breath in, breathe out and just gently press down. And one more deep breath in and exhale. Pressing down, coming back to the center. Let's change legs. So bending the left leg, bring it close to the thigh, right hand over the top, left hand out to the side. And then we're gonna go over to the right this time, finding that stretch, turning your head to the left. That's it, take a breath in, breathing out, pressing down on that knee. Inhale and exhale, pressing down. And one more deep breath in and exhale, pressing down. Well done, coming back. And let's come up to sitting now. All right, so up we come. And we are gonna have our knees bent and hip width apart. So this is a Pilates exercise, which does work the shoulders, but it's a great stretch for the front of the body. So you're gonna have your fingers pointing out. Now, if you are very flexible in your shoulders, you can have the fingers pointing in, okay? But just do what feels right for you this morning, okay? So from here, you're gonna take a breath in, breathe out, we're to push into the feet and hands, and I want you just to lift the hips up. And as your hips lift, your spine is gonna tip back. So let it tip back. So you're looking up to the ceiling, feeling the stretch in the shoulders. And then you're gonna inhale as you come back down. Let's try that again. So pressing into the feet, lifting up, tipping back with that spine. Keep going up as far as you can go. So you can feel that lovely stretch. And down. And one more time, exhaling as you lift. Good. And inhale, coming down. Well done. From there, just give those wrists a little rotation. So we're going to go out, two, three, four. Other way, in, two, three. Four, well done. And let's come into a kneeling position now. And we're just gonna do a little cat stretch with an extension. Okay, so we're lengthening through the body. You're gonna take a breath in. You're gonna breathe out, pull the belly in, tuck the tailbone under, and just find that stretch in your body. So just go as far as feels good for you. And then you're gonna inhale. Exhale, you're going to go back in the other direction. So think of sticking the bottom out and pushing into the shoulders and trying to extend the upper part of your spine. And again, deep breath in, exhale, tucking under. And then you're going to inhale, exhale, go back the other way. And one more deep breath in. Exhale, tucking under. Inhale. And exhale, back the other way. Just drawing those shoulders down. Now from here, I want you to pull the tummy muscles in, so pull the belly in. Take your right leg back, take your left leg back, and you're gonna lift yourself up now. So hips to the ceiling, finding that stretch, Pushing back as far as your body will allow. Lowering your heels down, feeling a stretch through the calves, lifting the heels up and coming back down. We're going to do this three times. So we're going to lift up. We're going to lower the heels. We're going to lift the heels and come back down. And one more lifting up. Lower the heels, lift the heels, and come down. Now from here, I want you to slide your right knee in onto the floor. Take your left knee down. 
Okay, so if you do yoga, this is like a pigeon pose. All right, the idea is we're trying to get a stretch in this hip. Okay, so you're going to uh, have your foot in front, so your right foot is in front of your left hip. And you can stay here nice and upright. If you feel you can go lower, you can walk your hands forward. All right, it's up to you what feels right. For most people, it's pretty intense just being here, okay? But if you want to find more stretch, the more you walk your hands forward, the more intense the stretch will get. If you want to go all the way down, then you would place your head down on your hands like this. Okay, and you're just gonna hold that stretch. Then we're going to slowly come up. And as you come back up, I want you to think of holding it here, drawing the shoulders down and trying to separate. Imagine your collarbone separating. So you're going wide across the front of the chest. Okay. Now this could be a little challenging for some of you. So just see, you don't have to do it. If you want to, you can try and bend your left leg. Okay, bring the right hand just inside of the knee and take your left hand back behind you, reaching onto that foot. Okay, so if you want to, you can hold it there. If that's too much, then you just do what feels okay for you. And I'm gonna release that foot, bring the hands back down, tuck the toes under, and we are going to lift up and change legs. So bring the other leg in. So we're going to do all of that on this side now. So just sinking into it slowly. The important thing with stretches is don't do anything fast. Your body's got to have time to release. And if you do have very tense muscles in certain areas, they're not going to release if you kind of really go too quickly. Yeah, they need a little bit of time to adjust. All right, so getting into your position so you can stay upright. If that's too much, you can stay with the knee up in the air. That's the other option. All right, and those of you that want to start to walk forward, then please go ahead. And just coming into your stretch position and holding it here for three breaths. And then you're going to slowly come back up. We're going to have our hands nice and wide. We're going to draw the shoulders down. We're going to lift the head. And we're just going to hold it here. So think of the collarbone separating and the shoulder blades moving towards each other across your back. Good. Now, those that want to try it are going to bring your left hand just inside of the left knee. You're going to bend your right leg. You're going to reach around, taking hold of that foot. Okay. And then finding that stretch there. Well done, releasing that foot. Bring those hands back to that position. You're going to lift on up. We're going to take that foot back. We're going to lift all the way up in the air. We're going to lower the heels down and we're now going to walk our hands back towards our feet. We're coming up to standing, so take a breath in. You're going to breathe out and you're going to kind of soften the knees and come all the way up. All right, now from here, you're gonna take a breath in. You're gonna exhale, you're gonna draw the tummy muscles in. So scooping in and coming back down, trying not to lean back in your hamstrings, so try and keep the weight forward. And then what I want you to do is just fold your arms. Can you see what I'm doing? So I'm folding my arms like this. 
Okay, so folding the arms and just let the weight of your body take you down. Let your head hang so there's no tension in the neck. And then I just want you to gently rock from side to side. So you're going right and left, right and left. I'm going to turn around so you can see what I'm doing. Right and left. Just nice little rock side to side. Good. And then gently coming back to the center. Let your hand, hands hang down. Take a breath in and breathe out. Draw the tummy muscles in and slowly come all the way up. Now you're going to lift your right arm up. You're going to breathe out and we're going to go over into a nice stretch. I want you to feel that stretch all the way down the side of the ribs. You're going to inhale, lift and exhale, lower down. Other side, lift. Stretching out. So trying to create space through those ribs. Trying to get that stretch down into the pelvis. Lift and lower down. So coming up and over. Lift and lower down, coming up and over. Lift and lower down. Now let's take our feet wide, okay? Nice and wide. Check that they're level so your toes are on the same level there. And I want your feet and your knees facing forward. You're going to bend your right knee, keep your left leg straight, finding the stretch here. So we're going to come to here. Then we're going to switch and go over to the other side. So we're just going to go side to side, stretch and stretch. That's it. Over. And over. So you can feel it's activating all your muscles, but you're also getting that lovely stretch on the inner thighs. And four, three, two, one. Coming up. Now turn the feet out and sink down. Put your hands on the top of your thighs. And I want you to take your weight down. And as you take that weight down, pushing those knees back, and then you can just do a little rock side to side, like so. Good. Then from there, take a breath in, lifting up slightly. And as you breathe out, push back on your left knee whilst turning your body to the right. That's it. And then take a breath in, come back to the center. Exhale, press back the other way. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, pressing back. And one more, inhale. And exhale, pressing back. Well done, and then you're gonna slowly come all the way up. Okay, let's have our feet in a neutral position. So that's feet right underneath your hip bones. You're going to inhale, take the arms out to the side and up and exhale back. You're going to inhale, reaching up and exhale back. You're going to inhale, reaching up and exhale back. Now you're going to take your right arm up and take it behind you, bending at the elbow. Left arm is going to go behind you and also bend at the elbow so it looks like this, okay? So we're taking the elbow back and we're going to try and reach the fingers towards each other if you can, taking hold of those fingers and then drawing your right elbow back. So you're getting that really good stretch there. Good. And release. Let's go do the other side. So we're going up, left arm, then the right arm behind you, reaching towards the fingers. You'll find one side easier than another. You're going to try and take hold of the fingers. Of course, if you can't reach, you're thinking of those, uh, just trying to get as close to each other as you can with those hands. And then you're going to take a breath in. You're going to breathe out and take that left elbow back. Good. 
well done and release okay so to finish we're going to just do a nice little exercise we're going to have those feet apart nice active stretch to finish so we are going to bring our right arm up we're going to take it over to the side we're going to bend the knees and we're just going to round the body forward take it all the way down over to the other side and up so then you're going to go the other way so bend your knees as you go over we're going to round the body as we go down around to the other side and up back so we're going to go over and down around up and back other way and over and down around up and back and to finish we're going to have a nice energizing move so you're going to face me i'm just going to turn so you can see what we're doing drawing the tummy muscles in you're going to inhale lifting up stretch back exhale sweeping the arms down for one two and lift up and go back going down for one two up and back going down for one two up and back up and back up and back last one up hold it there hold it hold it hold it take your arms out to the side big stretch and there you go. You're all done for today, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. All right, everyone, I shall come and chat to you now. If anyone's got any questions, then please fire them away. I hope that was all right. There was a mix of some simple stretches and some quite complicated ones. Uh, so I'm hoping that was all right for everybody. Do let me know on the chat, because it's always good to hear. And then I'm just gonna have a quick whiz through the chat and do my hello. So hello to Ruth Enright. Hi Ruth, thank you very much for your donation this morning. It's lovely to have you here. Or oh, before I forget everyone, can you please press the thumbs up button for me uh, before you go, if you've got to shoot off to work, because every time I get a like or a subscription, it really helps grow my channel and that's what I really need to do. Um, if you hear any noise, it's my dog. Are you gonna stay down there? Okay, um, thank you very much. So yes, go ahead, press the like button, subscribe. And um, yes, yeah, so from there, I wanted to say, sorry, I'm a bit distracted because I can see my husband's at the door. Did you want something? No, okay. All right, just bear with me a second. All right, so sorry about that. Kitchen door was left open. All right, so uh, thank you very much to uh, Ruth Enright for your donation this morning. To Margaret uh, Quinlan, thank you, Margaret, for your donation. To Janet Nolan, thank you very much for yours, Janet. To Leslie Matin, thank you. Anne Hillier, thank you. Goldia16, hello, thank you. And Susan Eisenbach, thank you very much. So your donations, just so you know, anyone who's watching, the donations really help me keep going and doing this channel because obviously this is, I work for free and the way I make my money is through uh, donations, but I also make it through the views. So the more views I can get, uh, the better. So the one thing I did want to ask you all today is if you like this workout or you have a favorite, could you share it with a friend, share it on a Facebook group, anything to help me get uh, more awareness really of what I'm doing, because I want to continue this even though we're sort of in our sort of semi lockdown, not lockdown state, whatever we're in now. Um, I want to carry on with the YouTube channel. So I, I want to grow it as much as I can. Um, so, um, and my husband, oh, my husband's husband, I see why he was hanging around now. He's put a message on my piece of paper, which says, can you read it? The video looks fabulous and you look amazing. <laughs> Isn't that nice? So my lovely husband. There we go. Thank you, my darling. Okay. So, um, Right, let's go through uh, questions. Now's your time. 
um, to fire them over to me. I want to say, I'm just going to have a look and see who we've got who's new today. So I'm going to say hello to Jennifer Coleman. Hello, uh, Jennifer. You are in Melbourne. Uh, lovely to have you here, Jennifer. Thank you for joining me all the way from Melbourne. Jennifer says, I've been waiting all day for this session. I decided it would be fun to take a live class, so here goes. Thanks so much. I really enjoy your style. Jennifer, thank you for coming, because uh, it must be Friday night, I think, in Melbourne. So I hope that there was a nice kind of stretch to end your day and relax you for your evening. So thank you for coming, and do come again. Uh, hello to Kieran Gohill. Good morning, Kieran. Uh, hello to Corina Perry. Corina is in Mallorca. Uh, says, ready and waiting. Hello again, Rachel and Cohen from Mallorca. Had to rest my back last week. Don't put heavy melons into a shopping basket. <laughs> that all good again. Now, that's something we all need to remember, isn't it? Do not put heavy melons in your shopping basket. Um, oh, dear. They, yeah, that must really hurt the back. Um, that always makes me think of um, Corina Dirty Dancing. Uh, those of you who have seen Dirty Dancing, where she has to carry the watermelons. Have you seen that scene? She carries the watermelons over the bridge. It's a famous scene in the film. Anyway, good morning, uh, Penelope McLeod in Chiswick. Uh, slightly cooler in London today. I'm really pleased to hear that. I think we've got thunderstorms coming um, to the UK today and tomorrow. Uh, so that might help clear the air a little bit because it's so humid over here at the moment. Um, Lovely to have you here, Penelope. I hope they were okay, those stretches, because I know some of them might be a little bit tough on the knee, um, but I, I know you're very good at managing your um, movements, so thank you for tuning in. Uh, hello to Carlin Hawkeran. Hello, Carlin. Joining us from Atlanta, Georgia in the USA. Lovely to have you here, Carlin. Hope you enjoyed that today. A little variation. I thought it was really good for us to do some kind of stretches. My dog is totally <laughs> upstaging me at the moment. I can see she's having a, she's shedding her coat. She's, um, she's a half, half wire fox terrier, half border terrier. And she's been, we've been brushing her a lot lately. Um, but yeah, she's been doing a lot of <laughs> A lot of grooming lately. Anyway, um, Kathy Freeman. Good morning, Kathy. Lovely to have you here. I think you're in Berlin, aren't you, Kathy? Uh, hope you enjoyed the stretch. Good morning, Tina Ridby. Hello, Tina. Two weeks in a row. Lovely to see you there. Thank you for coming. Uh, morning to Leslie Matin. I know you've donated. Thank you very much, Leslie. Hope you enjoyed this session. Uh, Yvonne Woodhouse says, good morning from a damp East Coast. No swimming today, so really looking forward to Pilates, but I do every week. Love this half hour. Oh, bless you, Yvonne. Thank you very much. No swimming today. Well, you know what, Yvonne, because I know you were swimming last week. Um, I got inspired by your swimming last week, so I went swimming. Well, we, me, Kerwin, and Boo, all went swimming in the sea uh, this week. If you want to see the pictures, um, go look at my Instagram page because the most recent post I've done is of me and Boo in the sea uh, down in Brighton and she's got a ball in her mouth and she's kind of paddling around. It's very cute if you want to see that. Uh, and Boo never did, um, Boo being a rescue dog, had never been in the water. So we've been slowly introducing her to the water and she just got in. She was so hot. She just thought, I'm getting straight in there. It was really sweet. So there we go. Uh, th thank you, Yvonne. Yvonne, have a lovely weekend. Thanks very much for joining me. Uh, Hilary Russell. Good morning, Hilary. I hope you enjoyed your session today. There is something, I think, about the live sessions. I mean, I love doing all the pre-recorded stuff for you. Um, but I also really love doing the live because I think there is just something different, isn't it? When you know that we are all here at the same time doing the same thing wherever we are in the world, which is fabulous. And there were uh, just over 150 people 
150 of you all around the world doing the session today. So there you go. So even though people are coming out of lockdown, people are still coming to our live class every Friday and we'll keep it going. By the way, before I forget, next Friday, this is what we're going to do. We are going to do Pilates with the small overball. So I want to start bringing back some equipment-based sessions. I know you don't all have equipment, so I wanted to give you a heads up. These are really easy to get hold of. Uh, the, probably the quickest, easiest place is to go to Amazon. Uh, I get mine from a company called Pilates Mad. I'm not sure whether they've got them in stock at the moment, but you can find them in lots of this same brand and lots of other outlets. This is a seven inch overball, or sometimes they call it the Pilates softball. Uh, you want to make sure it is the soft one. Can you see how squidgy it is? Yeah. So what happens is you get it flat like a balloon and then you get a straw and you blow it up and then you put the stopper in and you want it to be so you can just can you see how squidgy it is like this um, so you can squeeze it. And it's absolutely fantastic for core work, for strengthening uh, the inner thighs, all that kind of stuff. So that's what the session will be next Friday. So if you haven't got a ball, then go ahead and get one. They're really not expensive. This is like, I think six ninety nine, seven pounds. So um, what's that, $10, $12 or something for those of you on the other side of the world. So go ahead and get one and we're gonna do a really nice session with the ball next week. Okay, um, right, so going down the chat, uh, and from London, good morning. Another lovely day. Yes, it is another really, really lovely day today. Uh, it's about 25, I think, down here in Brighton. So nice temperature today. Uh, Janet Nolan. Hello, Janet. Says, good morning from Northern Ireland. It's going to be another hot day here today. Looking forward to this to start the day. Yeah, I'm hoping that, do tell me that that felt good this morning. I try to mix very simple uh, stretches with some that were quite intense because I know there's a variety of people watching who are at different kind of levels of fitness. Um, uh, so, you know, I want to make sure that I kind of cater for you all. But do let me know because the more I know about you, the more I can kind of really uh, guide these or gear the, the, the exercises and sessions I do to, to, to the people that are watching. All right, uh, Susan G, good morning. Lovely to see you here. Margaret Scott says, I'm a bit late, but I'm here. Well, it's lovely to have you here, Margaret. I uh, hope you enjoyed the session. I've just, uh, scooping up, I'm just gonna pop down here. Helen leaves, we've said hello, Helen. Oh no, Helen, you're in Northern Line, but you can't join us this morning. You're gonna do it later. Okay, well do let me know how it went for you. Yvonne Woodhouse says, great class, love the stretches. Thank you, Yvonne, good to know. Hilary Russell says, that was brilliant, thank you. And a kiss, thank you back to you. Tina Rippey says, thanks Rachel, that was great. I feel well stretched and energized now, oh, wonderful. Ruth Enright, that was different and a lovely stretch. I'm glad it was a slow one for the heat. Exactly, Ruth, that's exactly why I did it. So I'm glad that that was what you needed today. Thanks for letting me know. Susan G says, a great session, brilliant. Many thanks, you're very welcome. Kieran Gohill says, thank you, great class and feel good after the stretches, which I much needed. Fabulous. That's really, really good to know. Cheryl here, breathing and relaxing exercise. It helps stretch more in arms and legs. Thank you, Rachel. You're very, very welcome. Josie Briggs. Hello, Josie. Great session for a warm day. Yeah, that's what I thought. We don't want to be doing any crazy standing cardio work on a day like this, do we? We want to just really just stretch things out. And you know what? The heat, when it is really, really hot, it's an ideal time to do your stretch work because your body's already a little bit more supple so you can kind of move through things. Um, Smadar Bar, hello. Uh, nice to see you. I don't think I've seen your name for a while. Great stretch during the holidays. This is a great platform to continue following you from all over the world. Thank you very much indeed. 
Leslie Natten, hello Leslie, that was lovely. Still can't get heels flat when coming up from plank. Maybe uh, to do with when I sprained my ankle. It was 18 months ago though. It might be Leslie, yeah, you might just be, um, so getting the heels down means you uh, want to improve flexibility, uh, sort of calves down through the Achilles tendon, down through the underneath of your foot as well. It could be anywhere in that kind of region. And what I say to some people, um, or when, I, when, I, when, I, when I'm working with them directly, is that sometimes stretching out the feet can help. So I use this little ball. Can you see this is a solid ball? very solid, I'll tap it here, very solid. And um, what I do, you can do this with a tennis ball as well, it's brilliant, is you put the ball down on the floor, not for you, it's not your ball, and then you just put your foot on it, sorry, I forgot the dog's obsessed with balls, and then you just roll it back and forth, like so, and it will kind of stretch out all the fascia on the bottom of your feet. All right, that's enough. You go and play with that ball then. Okay. All right, so there we go. Um, so I hope that helps. And then, yes, any kind of ankle work um, would be good, Leslie. You know, ankle circles, stretches, you know, um, flexing the feet, anything that kind of gets the stretch there. The other thing you can do um, is you can... Uh, depending if you've got like a step or something, I haven't got a step to demonstrate here, but if you stand on like the top of a stair, holding on of course, and then lower your heels down, that will also give you a really nice um, stretch there. So I hope that advice helps. Uh, all right, Carlin Holmgren, uh, Carlin Holtgren says, fabulous class, great way to start the day. Good, really glad you enjoyed it. Uh, Carol Nee, thank you very much for your donation. Carol Ann Butler says, goodness, where did that 30 minutes go? Slow is quite tough. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Anne. Slow is tougher uh, generally. And it's amazing because most people, when they exercise, I'd say 90% of people just go, wah, 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 go really, really fast. And so one of the things that I do a lot with my teaching is I try to slow people down because the slower that you go, the harder your muscles are working, but also it gives your mind a chance to kind of assimilate what the exercise is, where you're trying to feel the exercise, what the technique is of the exercise. Because as we all know, if you get your technique right, then you get a much more effective workout. So there we are. Sorry, my dog is just completely like crazy this morning. Okay, so. Going down, Delia Hart. Hello, Delia. This is such a fantastic stretch, Rachel. I shall be doing it often. And where did you get those fabulous peacock leggings from? Oh, thank you, Delia. Well, number one, great to hear you're going to do this often. This gets uploaded to YouTube. So I tend to sort of edit it a little bit later in the day just to shorten the intro. Um, but I leave all the chat on at the end for people that want to watch that. But essentially, it'll go straight into the workout. So you can go back and do it whenever you like. And yeah, these leggings are from a brand called Onzi. I have to confess, they are probably six years old now. They're the, I just get them out every now and then because they are really, really thin. And when they're thin, if you're in a kind of a live situation, they can be a little see-through. So I don't normally wear them when I'm out uh, or when I was out teaching classes. But this is a brand called Onzi, O-N-Z-I-E. Uh, don't know if they still have them in stock, but they do make lots of kind of wild, crazy colors. Um, and I think I got them off Amazon. So go, go have a look and let me know if you buy any uh, leggings like this. I'd love to know. Uh, Alison Ellis, good morning, Alison. A very generous donation of £10. Thank you so much. And Alison says, great workout for a warm day. It's cheerio for next three weeks while we are on our narrow boat. But if Wi-Fi works, we will do some standing workouts. Big thank you. Oh, well, Alison, have a absolutely wonderful holiday. Um, what a great thing to do uh, at this time is get on a narrow boat uh, and go sailing around the 
beautiful canals of uh, the British Isles, of which there are many. A long time ago, I'll let you into a little secret, everyone. Many, you probably know if you've read my biography that I used to work in television. So I worked in television as a producer and a director. Eventually, that's what I worked my way up to. And uh, I made a program about a canal boat holiday. Um, it was called Holiday Showdown. And it's where uh, they don't make it anymore, but it's where they used to get two families who uh, were contrasting in some way, whether it was the holidays they like, the way they bring up their kids, you know, what they eat, all that kind of thing. And the idea is that you put them together to both experience the holidays. And one of the holidays was a canal boat. And we went around the Birmingham canal system. So underneath the M6, uh, all sorts of crazy places. But we also saw some really beautiful places as well. So, um, yeah, so I've always thought, oh, I must do that myself one day. But, Alison, I'll give you a little cheerio. I'll have a fantastic holiday and uh, we'll see you when you get back. Uh, Carol Neese has some really great stretches today. Good, Carol, glad you like them. And says, thank you, Rachel. This is Anne from London. Feel nice and stretched. The pigeon pose was painful for my knees. I'm not sure where I should be feeling the stretch. The video is great and you are fabulous. Thanks in advance. Oh, thank you very much. And yes, yeah, so pigeon pose is quite an extreme flex of the knees, isn't it? And the stretch with that, where you want to be feeling it is here in the hip. So an alternative is, I've just got a, a stool in front of me. You could try this, Anne, is that you can put your foot on the stool. So take it over to the left and then open the knee out to the side. And that's one way you can do it standing, which is not hard on the knee. Yeah, and you'll feel it there. You should feel it sort of all around the inside of the pelvis. And if you want to make a little bit more stretch you can just gently press down on that knee and you'll feel it kind of inside we're trying to get into a, a muscle in the back of the hip called the piriformis which can get super 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 tight um, so I hope that maybe could work as an alternative for you Anne uh, let me know the other way you can do it actually let me just go back and show you uh, here is for anyone who doesn't want to do the full pigeon pose is you can sit on a chair i'll do it with my uh, right leg and you can lift the foot up like this all right you've got your knee out to the side and then you can either that may be enough or if you want to you can lean in like so and the further you lean in the more intense that stretch will get but that is a really nice way to do it if there are knee issues, it's just do it in a chair. And I often do this when I'm on my laptop, I'll be sitting here and I'll have one leg up like this and I'll be pressing down, getting a nice little stretch. So that's your um, alternative. So I hope that helps you. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop down, see if there's any more questions. Caroline Ford, hello, Caroline Ford. Morning, Rachel, really enjoyed the slow stretching class, but found it impossible to do the bent knee forward and stretch leg behind. Felt as if my body would lock. Any further guidance, please. Okay, Caroline, so um, that was the pigeon pose with the leg lifted up. So I've just shown you the option for the pigeon pose. The leg behind, what I would say is if that feels like, oh no, that's not for me, just do not do it. And your option is to adapt it and you can do your stretch this way because we were in a very intense stretch, weren't we, with the leg back. What you can do is just bend the leg, take hold of the foot, hold onto a wall, please, or a, a chair. And then depending on how it feels, you can take the knee back and you can press out and you can either just stay here if that's enough stretch for you which it probably will be if you want to increase the stretch you can just press the foot and you can go you know as high as you want but I would imagine for you just the holding on taking hold of the foot and then tucking the pelvis and taking the knee back and that will target exactly the same uh, place for you all right, so I hope that was all right. And as I mentioned to Anne, the pigeon pose, you could do that in a chair and then come back to the floor for the other ones if you wanted to. 
Um, I hope that helps you. Margaret Scott, good morning, Margaret. So some exercise is easy, some very difficult, like the pigeon. Thanks, Rachel. Yeah, I would agree. It definitely was a mix today. Jane Rose, hello, Jane Rose. Thanks, Rachel, really helped my achy muscles. Great, really glad to hear that, Jane. Thank you very much for coming along today. Uh, Yvonne Woodhouse, well done for swimming. I'm definitely not cute in the water. Oh, thank you. I'm sure you are, Yvonne, but how lovely. Thank you very much. Susan G, I could not do pigeon pose as painful for my knees, an alternative maybe. Yes, yeah, so hopefully you also saw the chair version. That would be the alternative to the pigeon pose. There isn't really one you can do. Well, I suppose on the floor you can do. Yes, actually, I've got one more pigeon pose. Uh, or the other alternative, because it's the same movement. So a pigeon pose is an external rotation of the hip, basically, that. So the other way to do it is to lie down and have one hand on the knee, one hand on the ankle and just gently draw the ankle towards you. So you want to press the knee out and draw the ankle in. And that hopefully will be less strenuous. Well, you're certainly not weight bearing on your knee. So that should feel easier for you. And you're working into the hip and getting the stretch in the hip. So that would be my alternative for anyone who's got knee issues and wants to do that kind of nice knee stretch. Okay, so that's quite a good selection of options there, actually. Uh, Corina Perry says, on day six of resting my sprained back, I had to go out on the mountain for two hours and in an emergency, all discomfort and stiffness has completely dis disappeared. Adrenaline or a good dose of exercise? Oh, well, that's very good. Well, I would say um, probably the stretches um had helped that uh i'm just trying let me just read that again this is resting my string back had to go out on the mountain for two hours and mostly all this kind of thing oh i see what you're saying is is that when you went out on the mountain and came back you uh had lost all that well it was probably a mix of the movement because when you um sprain your back often the inclination is not to move at all yes like you don't move because it's too uh uncomfortable or you get spasms whereas actually what they realize is that movement is what's needed but i would say in your case it's probably a dose of both there corina because adrenaline overrides pain so you wouldn't notice if you're kind of in the middle of an emergency you're not going to notice if your back's bad because you're, you're, you know, your adrenaline's going. And the fact that you did move obviously released some tension there. So I would say it's probably a bit of both there. Uh, wonderful. All right. So we're getting to the bottom of the chat. Uh, Dira Abdallah, hello. Lovely to have you here. Says, I finished my daily workout on the 30 days app for full body. Okay, well done you. All right, Corina says, iced coffee here for you. Thank you very much, Corina. And a huge thank you to Caroline Ford for your donation and Ranjit for your donation. Uh, Ranjit Aurora says, hi, Rachel. I noticed that my leg was shaking. Is this normal? We'll do this routine regularly. Yes, so Ranjit, the shaking can be the tension in the muscles releasing. So this is a great thing. This is a good thing, nothing to worry about. Sometimes all our muscles in our body can get like hyper, hyper tense and slowing it down and doing the deep breathing and mindfully moving through certain exercises, it will just give those muscles a chance to just, it's like the muscles sort of sighing like, oh, thank goodness, that's all it is. So that's a really good thing, Ranjit, well done. Um, so that's just really, yeah, hypertense muscle, relaxing. That's what I will put that down to. Nothing to worry about. Sylvie Remy, I hope I said that right, Sylvie, uh, says, good morning from Paris. I am French and I like what you do. Well, thank you very much, Sylvie. Good morning to you in Paris. Uh, I hope you've got wonderful weather there and you have a lovely day. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, Leslie Martin says, thanks very much for your suggestions, like ankle flexion, 
uh, left ankle flexion is about half as good as right. So I'll try all the exercises you suggest. Yeah, okay, brilliant, Leslie. So that's a really good indication, isn't it? Is that the, the left is the one that needs the work. You also might be finding your right's overworking a little. So I would say do a little bit with the right, but emphasize trying to do the left. And even things like at breakfast time, doing circles while you're eating your breakfast, little flexes, the more you can do it and just think slowly, slowly, slowly. So don't go full stretch, just go gently, gently, and it will slowly improve. It does take time. And I do say that to everyone. When you've got um, some inflexibility, try not to think of it as being like, oh, instantly I'll stretch and I'm going to, it's going to be fine. I'm going to be flexible. It is something we have to keep working on. I have to keep working on it because my flexibility is reducing as I get older. So I have to keep working on it, trying to maintain it. Okay, and that's all part of the fun of Pilates. So there we go. Um, all right, Mary O'Mahony. Hello, Mary. Lovely to have you here. It says, hi, Rachel. Lovely stretching session. Can you do a session with the ring sometimes? Sometime, please. Yes, Mary, I will. What I'm hoping to do, although they're, they're certainly not as popular, the workouts with the apparatus, but I do uh, want to do a ring one soon. Uh, a flexi band soon and I've actually got a big Swiss ball which I've never done as a workout I might film those as upload so you can choose to do them or not but yes Mary I will thank you for the reminder uh, we've got Bibak, uh, Bibak Singh Kunjida I hope I said that right it says hello ma'am love from Nepal well hello to you in Nepal thank you for coming today um, Caroline says, thanks, Rachel, really helpful. Had never heard of the pigeon pose. Learn something every day. Very useful alternatives. Yes, so Caroline, pigeon pose is actually a yoga expression, but lots of people that do yoga uh, know Pilates or do Pilates. Some people do both. So that's what that particular position is called. But as I, and I, and I often find in Pilates, it doesn't work for a lot of people. So I'm glad that those alternatives work for you. Um, Carrie Minati is saying it's also for weight gain. I'm um, sorry, Carrie, I'm not sure I, answer, I understand the question, but if you want to know about uh, weight loss, um, is it good for weight loss what we do? Yes, it is, because any exercise is going to improve your muscle tone and muscles burn more energy than fat cells. Okay, muscle cells are burn more energy than fat cells. So the more toned your muscles are, the more calories you burn. So it doesn't mean you're going to drop loads of weight by just doing lots of exercise, because as we all know, it, what you eat is really, really important. But it's that balance of eating well, eating a good range of food, keeping your sugar down low so not add, not having food with added sugar in and then exercising regularly and it's that combination that will do both uh terry says thanks for the modifications to pigeon pose much easier great stretches doing exercise in my bikini as it's 21 degrees in gretna green that's absolutely brilliant terry good for you thank you very much indeed and sheila round says great to have alternatives to pigeon pose as i found it impossible due to the inflexible right hip great so we've all established haven't we i think that for the majority of us that pigeon pose is too extreme um, and so the alternatives, the chair and the lying down are the ones to do. And on that note, I'm just filled with an image of Terry in Gretna Green in a bikini doing a workout. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, I will be back next week. Don't forget, next week we'll be doing a workout with the soft ball. Do try and get one. These are absolutely brilliant things to have. Sorry, that's my dog scratching again. Who? Now. Shush. Um, well, these are absolutely brilliant things to have at home. Uh, I've got lots of videos with them as well. So I want to encourage you to get one. 
They aren't expensive and you'll really, really notice the difference in your core when you do a workout with these, all right? So have a fantastic weekend, everyone. Thanks so much for your donations, for being here with me today. And I will see you again, same time next week. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.